Once we've been mixing for several minutes, we'll notice there's quite a few air bubbles in the silicon itself. So what we need to do is use this vacuum chamber. We seal the lid, turn on the pump, uh, and that actually works by um, sucking out all the air out of the chamber, forcing the air bubbles in the silicon to expand and rise up. We'll make sure that both the valves are facing outwards first. This one is the, the intake valve, so that lets air back in, so we need to turn that one off, and then we'll see the needle rise around the dial. Um, as soon as it gets about here, we'll notice a change in, in the silicon. Um, it will be expand about five times its size, so we need to make sure that we're using um, a pot that's big enough to, to take the expansion. Now you see the silicon is rising to its highest point now. This is a critical mass point where the silicon itself can't be supported by the amount of air that's now trapped within it and collapses on itself, which is what you're seeing now. This whole process takes around um, five to eight minutes, depending on the volume of silicon that you use. Um, so now we, we need to switch off the exit of the air and turn on slowly the intake so we see the needle decrease. As soon as it gets to zero, we can take the lid off and remove our silicon. It should be nice and smooth.